we know there are delays because we know the incredible impact that screening has and that screening really hasn't happened for the last few months. So that means that thousands of cases are not being picked up and are going to be picked up later um, and after um, screening resumes or when someone has symptoms. So I think the truth is we are really worried that this is going to have an impact on cancer diagnoses and delays in cancer diagnoses. And now with COVID, I think that people have um, unfortunately sort of pulled back from healthcare, are afraid to go to the emergency room, to their doctor's office. They aren't really thinking through and being the same self-advocate that they would normally be. Um, and we are very concerned that this is gonna be almost a crisis of delayed um, screenings, delayed healthcare visits and so on. Um, so the rule still applies. If you're worried about your health, call your doctor. Um, we've sort of figured this out on the healthcare side. You know, our offices are pristinely sterile. It is much safer to go to your doctor's office than the grocery store. <laughs> they are not letting in anyone who has any symptoms. Um, there's much more intense screening, much more intense cleaning. Um, you can always start with a phone call. We have a lot of telehealth, video visits, um, and trust the healthcare system to help you navigate that when you need to be seen in person and not. But please don't delay um, reaching out, at least with a phone call, if you have symptoms. Because cancer isn't gonna go away, there's no point in delaying there. You know, I think there used to be such a fear of a cancer diagnosis. Um, but for instance, in young adults, our cure rates are 80 plus percent. This is not a death sentence. So this is a treatable process, a treatable disease. So the most important thing is to catch it as treatable as early as possible. Worst case scenario is that, you know, you get the reassurance of saying, I checked it out. Let me know if you still have the symptoms, you know, come back. Um, but if the worst case scenario is a reassurance, it's better to have it checked out. What really starts needing to happen is self-advocacy. And that means being aware of symptoms, taking the responsibility of saying, this is a change. Um, no one else is gonna make the appointment, I have to. Um, and then, even when seeing the doctor, I often have to remind young adults that responsibility doesn't stop there. Sadly, there have been a lot of cases where the physician uh, not, not blows off, but thinks the patient's too young to have cancer. And the patient takes that as the ultimate reassurance and doesn't come back in spite of the symptoms continuing. So, if that self-advocacy, it's sort of like, I'm, I'm giving you permission to be a millennial and question authority. <laughs> if the symptoms are still there um, and you're still worried, you have a right to go back and say, I know you told me not to worry, but I'm worried. Um, so it, it is uh, a continuing responsibility as an, as an adult to always be your best advocate for your own health.